Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Carla. Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to jump right in because right now it's probably really scary, as you can see, my bare face. So this is going to be a two-part video. One, getting ready with me, doing all the face, and then uh, part two is going to be the eyes, uh, the lips, and the cheeks. So stay tuned if you want to see my look. And um, if you can see up close, we're going to put this concealer to the test. I don't know if you can see, but I have three scratches on my nose from my my baby love. This morning I was messing with him and he scratched my nose. So we're going to jump right in and I'll go over real quick the products. I already have um, Mario, I forget his last name, um, moisturizer on with a, uh, that's pretty much everything. Normally I put a little bit of a primer on, but I don't think I brought one up here with me. So... We're just going to jump right in with just a moisturized face, and we're going to jump right in, and I'm going to use my Almay Pure, or excuse me, Clear Complexion Concealer. Evolve. If you've watched my channel before, um, you have seen this in some of my favorite. It conceals as it heals. So hopefully I don't drop out of the frame, but I'm going to put it right here on my nose where those three scratches are, and last night I did something to my chin. Not sure what. Let's see if I can move this a little closer. And my mirror is right underneath the camera, so I hope I stay in the frame. And the light is going in and out. I'm trying to use natural light, but I think it's going behind the clouds right now, so I can't guarantee what kind of quality this is going to be. So I apologize in advance. And if you are new to my channel, I do not edit, one, because I do not know how. So you get to see the mistakes, the bloopers, the ums, the thes, the thens, the dogs barking, the whatever that goes on. So it might be a fun and very interesting video. I do already have my hair fixed. Normally I do not so that I can, you know, get the foundation everywhere it needs to be. But, um, and if I sniff a little bit, I'm sorry. I'm a little under the weather. And if I take a sip of some water, please excuse me. And my wonderful love is up here also. So, my favorite... My favorite foundation is the Revlon Color Stay Whipped, and my color is in Nude 220. It comes in a little pot like this. The only, re the only thing about natural lighting is it's really hard to see what I'm showing you in the light. So I'm going to use my um, Real Technique Stippling Brush, and I'm just going to dip it down in there. And then I'm just going to start in small circular motions and apply this right to my face. This is um, a wonderful, in my opinion, wonderful foundation. I actually tried it before I started watching um, YouTube videos, and when I saw other people talking about it, I was like, oh my goodness, I'm not crazy. It is a truly wonderful foundation. It is very buildable. I normally just put one layer on but it just depends on how much cover you want and uh, what occasion it is and I've also it applies very well to with a beauty blender all also so anytime I have washed my brushes or if I think they might not be all the way dry I will use a beauty blender and it also goes on very nicely with that also. And I do think it just wears better even with time. I work 12 hour shifts and of course you're going to have some wear if you don't. You know there's it's probably a little crazy. But anyway, so that's that. Well, the only thing, I kind of get off on tangents, I'm sorry, I try to make it entertaining also, but if you have facial piercings, the one thing, sorry, I just got out of the frame, that irritates me is it does, if you want to get your foundation on completely, I'm making some weird faces, you are going to get them on your piercings also, and... 
I could I just take a Q-tip and clean it off a bit. So now that's the foundation. The lighting is not great. There's really not a big difference between my face and my neck, which it does look like on camera. Whoa! Then I take my instant new instant age rewind eraser dark spot by Maybelline. I'm really not sure how to show you this, but I will list everything in the down bar. And I just make a V. A lot of you do not need this. I am one of the older people on YouTube. But that's okay. Only as young as you feel, right? And I am, I would right now be using my beauty blender, but you know what? I left it downstairs. That's why I hope very soon I can get my makeup table moved up here and set up an area that I can film and do more tutorials so I have all my stuff with me. So I just kind of did that with my fingertips. <laughs> and just try to pat it on there. So that's that and I actually think that that has done a really pretty good job at covering up my imperfections that I was talking about but I'm going to use this Kat Von D lock-in tattoo concealer and I'm going to love you baby tap that on these imperfections with my finger and just kind of blend them out I know I need to speed up or learn how to fast forward so that you do not have to see these step by step. And I absolutely love, 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 love this concealer. So there is that. Now what I'm going to do, goodness gracious alive. Um, Excuse that outburst by my love, love. I'm going to use this Physician's Formula Youthful Wear. It is an amazing powder. And I'm going to set all this that we've done with this big fluffy brush by Real Technique. I love it. It's so soft. I'm just going to dip it in here. And just kind of go over my whole face. Close your eyes, especially if you wear contacts, as I have found that this is a lot of my problem when I get stuff in my contacts. I take it on down the neck, too. And that just kind of gives it a, um, hopefully, more of a... Uh, I'm so sorry if this lighting is crappy. And that's really that for my facial routine. And then I still do see some of the, the red streaks on my nose. But it's pretty much, pretty much camouflaged. I don't want to look like I have a cake face. So the next step I normally do is I normally... I'm going to use this new paint pot today by MAC. It is in Bear Study. I normally use which is a pretty much a staple here on YouTube, the uh, Paint Pot and Painterly. It is a beautiful, lovely color. I know you all probably know about it. I'm going to try my new one that I just got. It's called Bear Study. It's a very pretty shimmery, kind of a champagne-y color. Not real good at explaining that. We're going to see how that goes on. Very smooth. It does look like it has... I'm not sure if my mirror is where it needs to be. It has, I don't know if you can see, but uh, it has little, looks like gold flakes. It does have to actually feel as creamy as painterly, but I do like it. I'll have to get back with you and let you know if it creases or anything as the day wears on. So this just uh, basically gets your eyes primed for your eyeshadow. 
take some of the red out if you have a, any kind of red tint or blue tone in your eye. And that's that. And now I'm going to contour my cheeks a little bit and say goodbye until the next episode until we see each other again. If you want to see the rest of this look, please stay tuned. I'm going to have a second part. And I'm going to do finish up the face and do the eyes. And then I'm going to announce the Valentine giveaway winner. So you've got to watch the next video so you'll know. So this is um, the Physicians Healthy Glow Bronzer Bronze Gems Matte and Bright. And I'm just using this side over here, the bronzing side, but there's a highlighter and some gold shimmers. But I'm just putting that right underneath if you were to make the fishy face right there and this brush I think actually came in one of the um, I think it actually came in something like the Bella Bomba the Benefits um, blush so I'm using that to put that right there and then I'm also going to take it just right underneath the edge so it looks like we don't have that double chin that none of us want and right up here just to make it look like I have a little bit of natural sun that I do not have and that is going to be it for the priming and getting the face ready to put on the rest of it. So, um, if you enjoyed that, it's just real quick, it's just my foundation and my primers and get ready to put the full face on. So, stay tuned to part two of lips, eyes, and cheeks and the winner of the Valentine giveaway. So, until I see you again, love each other. Much love. Bye.